is Ivory Coast nil, Nigeria won. The Super Eagles have shattered on Les Elephants like it was nothing. They were soaring in the air. And guess what Eagles do? Eagles prey on the weak. And we was limping as an elephant. We was wounded. And what? guess what they did? They soared into us and picked the wounds off of us. Yes, the Nigerians have beaten us. My wife has beaten me. My woman has beaten me. You know, future wife and that. You know, get me like, oh, but she's my wife. Oh, <laughs> Ivory Coast, man. You know what we done in Les Elephants? Pourquoi, man? Why? Why? Why would you let the Eagles come all the way from Nigeria, fly away, fly into a stadium and shit on us? Allow them to beat us in our own ground, you know? My woman is Nigerian. You have destroyed my household. She's got the rights. She's got the bragging rights. She's wearing the pants in this relationship right now. Ivory Coast, why would you do this to us? It's been one of the worst. It was a bad performance from Ivory Coast, you know. We can have all the possession in the world, yeah. But possession gets you nowhere if you're not going to use it well and score. Convert those opportunities. Ivory Coast with all the shots that they've had. Even though in the first half, first half it was an even game between Ivory Coast and Nigeria. But at the same time, I would say Nigeria looked a bit like they could have got the goal and it was going to come because Ivory Coast was toothless in general. Toothless, spineless, you know. The ivory of us were missing. We were missing our ivory. Oh, that's how much we was toothless. We was missing an ivory. We was damaged going into that match. No Sebastian Halal would have cost us what and it definitely did because we never had our best striker guy we never had our best striker and then we have players as well who also let us down diamande i know you are one of the top young center backs in the world everyone's looking for you but this is what young players do they make that mistake the lack of concentration you know which was a silly mistake to make diamande to to go for it with Oshman, which Oshman was so quick to get there, you know, he was like a spot with cat. But that guy got there real quick and it just went to VAR. And I just saw it and I was like, this is a penalty. The only way, if he was not given a penalty, I would say that we, we, we paid off the referee. That's what I would say, you know. But Nigeria got the goal in the second half, you know. The goal coming from Inkong, the light-skinned brother, the, most, the finest Nigerian in that team. The light skinned guy. I think I reckon he's the guy that gets all the good looking babes. You know? He's only fanboy there. The rest are not fine. In fact, I even question his nationality because he's the finest boy there. You get me? The rest are just average looking guys. But yeah. Ivory Coast end up losing. Um sitting third in the group, three points with Nigeria as well. And Equatory Guinea with their four points. And we've got Equatory Guinea to play last game. Um, of the group. Will Ivory Coast go through? Equatorial Guinea are a good team. They can, they're can they full of surprises and Ivory Coast looks toothless going forward. Or should I say Ivoryless? You know, we're missing one. But anyway, boys, my Ivorians, les fans, nous Ivorians. Pardon. Désolé. I'm sorry. You know, they did this to us again. You know, but hey, if, if it's going to be a country that beats me, oh, it's got to be my woman's country, isn't it? Like, up, up the Super Eagles, big up Nigeria for getting their three points. It's all about how you win the game. And they did that. They won it by penalty, but they defended for the rest of the game. And Ivory Coast couldn't break down their defense, you know? It was the Super Eagles, you know? The Super Eagles was eagling. We wasn't. We wasn't elephanting at all. Oh. Anyway, guys, big up to everyone as well. Let me know who, 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 um, who your man of the match is and your donkey of the match and your thoughts of today's game, you know. And do you think Ivory Coast can even go through to the next round? Let me know in the comments, guys. As always, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. Back live for the for Manchester United. You get me, guys. So make sure you tune in as well for the Manchester United watch along. I'm just, I'm not even hurt, you know. I'm used to this sometimes, you know. Ivory Coast do let us down. Even though when we're favourites, they do let us down. I've been there. I've been with the pain several times. So I'm immune to this. 
All I wanted was a draw, guys. But big up to you guys. Smash that like button and share. Peace. I'm out.